Motor Week is made possible by Tire Rack. Now the new Taurus and Sable mean more than one first for Ford. They're the first true mid-size front drive sedans Ford's ever produced. The first new from the ground up mid-size design in nearly a decade. And the first to cost as much as $3 billion. But the first don't stop there. We found a few more when we took a look at the Taurus and Sable when they were just a gleam in their designer's eyes. This is another gleam in Ford's eye. Their Probe 4 research and development vehicle, a design dream machine. This, of course, the Ford Taurus. This is how a Ford artist treated the front end of the final Taurus and Sable designs. And these are the final designs. Obviously, the Taurus and Sable go a lot further than any other new Ford in bridging the gap between the designer's dream and a consumer's reality, which leads us to another first. That with the radical lines of the Taurus and Sable, Ford has, for the first time in decades, solidified its place as a real Detroit styling leader. The cars look progressive, and the ideas and planning that went into them were too. Codenamed DN5, the Taurus Sable project was the first at Ford to use the team design concept. A small group of designers worked together on the project from beginning to end. The result, another first. A car designed more by commitment than by a committee of bean counters. That design team believed that form follows function. Translated from architecture to automobile, that means an outside shape designed to cut the wind, along with inside dimensions that make use of all the available volume. Then there are those controls that can be identified by touch. And therapeutically designed seats. The team had another design imperative something often forgotten in the auto design biz, unity. This time unity means the jelly bean shape of the body is repeated and carried over to the interior, in the door panels, and on the dash. They also went to a lot more trouble than usual trying to match interior fabrics to exterior colors. Naturally, the quickest member of the DN5 design team was a computer. The novelty here? Well, 90% of the car's body panels were given their final shape by microchip. The same computer system will check those panels for accurate fit during assembly. Speaking of which, much of the Taurus Sable assembly is of the modular variety, and much of that performed by robots. That makes the DN5 assembly Ford's most technically advanced. But when it came down to testing, there's no better way than the old-fashioned way, taking prototypes out on the road. Ford built more prototypes and tested them more extensively than any previous model. All this brings a question to mind. Why all this progressive development from a company that's been known most for its yawn-inspiring pressed and folded four-door sedans? Well, Ford's new young thinking management has a lot to do with it, and the company wanted to do something radical to keep up with the demanding American car buyer. We think they've done it and in the process significantly up the ante for new car first from everybody else. <laughs>